Hello and welcome to this week's angling vlog. Today you join me on the banks of the River Wye and we're in search of barbel and chub. The River Wye is a river that I have never ever fished before and I've been dying to get on the bank for a couple of years now but just never got round to it. So since the start of this river season I've been taking myself out of my comfort zone and getting out there on new adventures. Fishing sometimes can see you visit the same spots, fishing the same swims and most of the time getting quite similar results. But fishing for me is all about the adventure and what's around the next corner. Today on the River Wye, we're around that corner on an adventure that I've been waiting to come on for many years. I can't wait to wet a line in the river behind me. The mist is just rising downstream and looks absolutely as beautiful as I imagined. So let's have a quick look at the setup that we're going to use today. So there's two setups that we're going to use today on the feeder and on the float. I will go over the float rod in a bit when we start fishing with it, but to begin with, I'm gonna fish on the feeder. I've got a Corum 12 foot twin tip rod, um, a Shimano bait runner reel with 12 pound line. I've got that down to a Corum quick change swivel. And to start off with, I'm gonna be putting pellets and hemp in a simple Camazan feeder. I've got a sleeve to aid separation on the cast, then eight pound Drennan floral carbon down to a size 12 hook. And I've got a band on which I'm gonna place a Sonia Bates pellet. So that's the setup. It's time to make that magical first cast and see if we can get that first fish on the bank. There's plenty of fish topping, so I don't think it'll be too long. So the main plan of attack today is gonna to involve this bait, treasure particle hemp and lots of it. I'm going to be filling the feeder with the hemp and putting an 8mm pellet on the hook. So with a mist on the water into the first fish on this river Y adventure and what a take it was absolutely wrapped the rod over and the first ever fish on this rod I don't know what we're connected with and to be honest with you I don't really care <laughs> it's coming right underneath my feet here and a proper nice take let's see what it is it's a small barbel and the real just ticking over nicely. And there we the go. First barbel in the net. First barbel of this River Wye adventure. First thing in the morning with a mist on the water and what lovely colours. A great fight and a lovely first ever fish on the River Wye. Let's get it straight back and get the rod back out. Great stuff. Just gonna put a big bed of the Cheshire Particle Hemp and it'll do two things. It'll let me fish the feeder over it and then later on, be able to fish the float down the same line and hopefully the bait will go down the swim I don't know if you can see down there, there's quite a big snag and draw some fish up. The rod has just hooped over again and almost certainly into another barbel. A lovely bend in the rod and feels great to finally get a few fish on it. I think it's almost certainly a barbel. 
and the reel just ticking over nicely and in lovely surroundings it's just holding nicely in the middle of the river and round about this time now would be just logging into the phones in work it's about half past seven and I'd just be getting to my desk and instead out on the river with a bend in the rod and the reel ticking over nicely and certainly holding out there and it's stuck in some weed or something and the water has just got a tinge of colour to it today which just lets you see them barbel just underneath the surface and just moving into the inside now and amazing the power these fish have we just bring him upstream and there we go fish number two seven pound 13 ounces and what lovely colors it's got orange fins and golden scales and yeah what a great start to this Y adventure let's get the fish straight back and no matter how excited to get cast back in always important to give the fish a good rest in the net till it's safe to go back it is well into summer now and these fish don't half fight and a beautiful fish it is as well you see it's gills just ticking over and we'll give it a good rest and let it go so just going for the wonder along the bank after that last barbel and look at that all them sand martin nests in the side of the bank been one or two coming out as i've been looking but quite hard to catch on film and we won't disturb them for too long and we'll just carry on on our way but beautiful what you see as you walk along the bank sat in these beautiful surroundings there's a kingfisher working the far bank and no danny's angling blog river adventure would be complete without mr and Mrs Swan two and a half hours from home and they still find me but what a lovely sight they are on the river so after them two barbel upstream we've moved down onto the snag as you can see over there and first cast the rod's gone straight round using a different approach to this swim than the Drennan open cap I was using before but we'll have a look at that when we've got the fish in and have a look at it I'm not too sure it's a barbel I'm feeling it might be a chub but I am enjoying just fishing on the feeder today it's not something that I do much on the channel I do like fishing the float quite a lot and today I think have a bit of fun and stay on the feeder for a bit but that first cast <laughs> straight round on the pellet is great fun let's see if we can get him in so there's that chub any fish as a first fish is a welcome one to me and the colours of these fish in this river are absolutely beautiful lovely lovely fish and say so hopefully there's one or two more of them out there i'm really enjoying it on the feeder so let's have a look at them tactics that i'm going to use in this swim that are slightly different to the ones this morning so a slight change in this swim it's the same clip arrangement and the same hook link but just going to use a ground bait feeder and in it i've got treasure particle hemp and one or two of the sonia baits pellets but it's plugged with dynamite baits 
halibut, ground bait. I fired a load of hemp over there like I did at the start before and I was going to keep casting this ground bait feeder over and hopefully draw some fish into the area. As you've seen there, that chub didn't take too long to come. So let's get it back out there and see if we can get another bite. Just into another one. Don't know whether you saw the bite there, but almost certainly another chub, I think. And straight on to that ground bait and that pellet. Only a small one. And the beauty of having the waders on is just kneel down and bring him to hand. Only a small one, but more than welcome. With the beautiful surroundings and being stood in the water, let's let him go straight back. And although I promised to stay on the feeder a bit, sometimes you just can't help yourself. And got the acolyte out, first shot down with a bit of meat, went into a chub, and stood in the middle of the river in waders. Absolutely great fun. And I don't think as long as I live, I'll ever tire at the sight of them lips of a chub coming up. Very next, <laughs> shot down. <laughs> An absolute dream swim. The float's just buried and almost certainly a small chub. And absolutely in the element, loving it. One of these times though, I think it's gonna bury and it's gonna be a barbel, I think. And the swim is absolutely thick with fish, been Put quite a bit of hemp in at the start and then just going over the top of it with big chunks of meat on the acolyte. One of the joys of standing in the river, just unhook the fish. There it goes. This is absolutely silly fishing. Literally that run just down from that tree, just trotting meat. Lovely bending the acolyte. My mate, stay he's just playing a barbel. We've got a couple of canoeists coming down who are going to have to make way for Mr. Chubb, I think. I think it is a chub, I don't think it's powerful enough to be a barbel. But losing count as to just how many we've actually had. It's fantastic fishing. So this is beginning to feel a very nice fish. It, it's holding nicely and the better fish do seem to just hold. And although it is on the float, the fish seem always bigger on the float. But it does seem a very nice chub. And I say he's not you're not coming down to take a time and try and get him in and although some of you will ask because I do use a keep net every week on this stretch that we're on you're not allowed to use a keep net I mean unfortunately I feel because it had been some net of chub this today uh, I mean I think we're only about a couple of hours into the swim into the session and this swim is absolutely choked with chub. That is an absolutely clonking chub. Best chub of the day so far. Four pound, seven ounces, coming on the float with the luncheon meat over that Cheshire particle hemp line. He's gonna flip a bit, 
and we'll hold him up one last time. There we go. Let's get him straight back and get back out. So we've had three chub in three casts. Let's see if we can get one on the fourth and do it live on the GoPro. So just casting on that far line. It seems to be a good area where the chubs seem to be. And the shot and the trot isn't quite a long one. As I say it shallows up below us. But just edging that piece of meat through the swim. And there we go. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. And sometimes with this YouTube it can be hard. And sometimes it just all comes together. And that was one of them moments. Now this fish isn't probably the biggest chub but when you're on four chub in four casts it doesn't really matter and say so when they come into this halfway across I think they begin to realize something's not right but yeah great fun on the float and as the evening go as the day goes on what we're going to do is we're going to I have a few fish here now, enjoy it and I'm going to get me head down for an hour because we've got a long drive back home tonight and four fish in four casts it doesn't come better than that absolutely great fishing and like with all fishing simplicity is key that's the ground bait mix and say you've got a bit of sweet corn and pellets in it some of the Cheshire particle ground bait in the middle and then just plugging it off, not too tight because you want it to break out and there you've got the perfect little parcel ready to go in, quite a long hook link down to that pellet and let's get it back out there so straight back over to the feeder and this lovely chub just under four pound absolutely blown away amazing fishing, must have had easily over 30 or 40 pound of chub today some of them have just you know let go some of the smaller ones but what a what a river a dream river for someone like myself who absolutely loves fishing the river for chub let's get him straight back see if we can get another one certainly beats a day in work let's get it back So like I said earlier, some days blogging is difficult and some days the gods are with you. After all them chub, I set the camera up behind me to try and get one of the takes of me playing the fish. And along come Mr. Barbel. And sometimes that jigsaw just fits together nicely. So, put a bit of bait in and went and had a bit of a break probably put about two pints of hemp down the line and had a bit of a kip obviously being two and a half miles away from home and leaving at midnight obviously to get here for first light you've got to get a bit of rest and first cast I didn't even get the rod on the vest and almost certainly the rod has hooped over and went into a barbel straight away and this blog's obviously going to be full of lots of me playing fish and the GoPro but I've said it before it's absolutely dream fishing you know all them chub and I mean, this is the fourth barbell of the day. Fantastic stuff, and they seem to come in these barbell and hold in that faster water. And as soon as you get on this side of the flow, 
they always make a bolt for it it seems let's see if we can get him in it's almost certainly a barbel I would say and there you go as soon as he comes in he's on that run there's that fish coming on a simple running rig and a feeder from Dinsmore's filled with halibut ground bait Cheshire particle hemp and that Sonia Beats pellet on the hook fabulous fishing and I must say this rod has been an absolute joy to use I think it only cost me I think it was 60 pound something like that and it's more doing up to the task today with them barbel and the chub and so lovely action on it more than made up with it and say so I hadn't really fished with it before today it hadn't caught a fish on it but it's had a thorough workout today and it's currently I think playing either a chub or a bar but I think it's a chub because it's had me in a couple of the weed beds coming there. across rod's been a joy to use really enjoyed fishing the feeder today it's not something that I do very often but I've really enjoyed it bit of action on the float and then this the third chub just creeping over that four pound mark four pound and one ounce and the third one of the day so I really am running out of words to describe this session today you know some say red letter days is this the norm for the Y? I don't know but Phenomenal fishing. I've got one resting in the net waiting to have its picture taken because it's quite a warm day. So you've got to rest them before you do the pictures and anything. I pop the rod back out and it's gone again. And we're connected with another barbel. Absolutely unbelievable fishing. As soon as that feeder hit the bottom, it was away. An absolutely fin perfect baby barbel. Once you find the the method of where they're hanging out in the swim, one a chuck. As soon as that feed of it's the bottom, they're on it. And we'll call this one the last one that I'm gonna blog. The rest I'll just put a couple of pictures up and enjoy the rest of the day. And I'll catch it at the end of the blog. And what a fantastic way to end this blog. I've had a lovely day on my first ever trip on the river. Why? A lovely backdrop behind us. And this £6, 11 ounce barbel to finish the trip. All the barbels today have had lovely colours on them. Been a fantastic, you know, session trying for these fish. And all them chub, it'll be a session I won't forget. Thank you very much for watching. Tight lines in your own fishing. And I'll catch you all next time. Tight lines.